guys um back at home i'm going back into my regular routine i'm happy to be home it's like a light sweater weather time sweater weather, sweater weather. Oh, finally sweater weather God. My baby girl Timo. I have a Pilates class at 11. They will be leaving for that in about like 10 15 minutes. Oh, it's so nice out. It is a beautiful day in New York City. Let me come to the light so the lighting is better. Huh? Right there. It is so nice out. I was um, doing my makeup and I thought maybe I should uh, film as I do my makeup routine that way you know I have like a get ready with me sort of video I did my eye makeup already and I'm also wearing the Elta MD sunscreen just the Elta MD uh, tinted uh, sunscreen and I obviously already did my eye makeup and I also have some Chanel lip balm but I was thinking of been using this quite a bit. I'm really enjoying it. It's uh, mostly for days when I want to do like a completely natural look. And the other foundation that I have been really really enjoying this Shantakai gel foundation. I honestly love 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 this so much. I wore this on my India trip for all of the events and you know for the wedding I wore this I think it's beautiful the shade alabaster is a perfect match for me I love 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 this so much I think this is totally worth the price point um, when I was at duty free in Dubai all the Chanel cushion compacts were sold out I really wanted to try that but it was sold out so bought a cushion compact from Shantakai I'm wondering if I should try this on it's also in the shade alabaster and i have high high hopes for this because i love love the gel foundation i also have that tinted like i think it's a moisturizer which is okay uh, i don't hate it i don't love it it's like i still wear it because i have it uh, the cushion compact comes with and i love elephants and an additional pack I think all cushion compacts come with an additional pack on the inside. I am super excited to try this. Maybe I should try this right now. I feel like it's a good thing to try it on. I usually like to leave this for when I'm traveling, like on the go. Uh, so let's see. Ooh, I think I'll go try it on with one of my Real Technique brushes. I'll go with the seamless it's the seamless complexion brush the number 241 let's try this i usually wear my the chanel serum with this one so let's see how it wears cushion compact and also the tinted moisturizer the tinted spf that i wear usually is a smidge darker than my skin so maybe this might be good for me sorry i gotta keep looking here because the viewfinder is on this side camera just with the lighting it's not as flawless as it looks on camera so let's see if it covers up my freckles I know you have to love your freckles and blah 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 but I think it's up 
to a person. What do you think? Do we like it? I think I do. Sure. Uh, it feels light on the skin. There's no transfer. Also because I wore very little. And I just shared it out with this brush. Okay. I think that's a yes for me. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Okay, so we will go in with the concealer. With my NARS concealer. I like to wear my concealer with this Real Technique brush. I feel like it does a more seamless application with this one. I think it's the number 300, this one. I, just for me, I bet. fingers are great, uh, but I feel like this does the most seamless application. So I'll just take a little bit in the hand. I just pat it onto the areas that I need it. Like, obviously my usual spot that I like to cover, the freckles, and a little bit under the eyes, not too close to the waterline because I feel like if it's too close to your waterline then it settles on my fine lines. I mean I think if you don't have fine lines, sure you could go up close, but because I have fine lines it just settles in there. So I try to stay clear away from the I try to stay away from the waterline. So let's see. It looks like I'm taking a lot of product, but I'm actually taking barely anything. I'm just like very lightly just tapping it on there. And this side again, cover up on that. Any concealing I need to take care of? little brightness under the eye. It's like a super rare sight for me but I think it's because we traveled so I feel like that's one of the side effects but I never squeeze my acne when I do get it. If and in the rare occasion that I do get it, I never squeeze it. I know that it bothers people but I never squeeze it because I know you get scarring. And when you get older, it takes a longer time for the scar to heal or you'll have like permanent pigmentation there. So I never squeeze it. I just let it dry out naturally and then it just falls off. That's the concealer. And if I do feel like my concealer looks a little cakey, I go on with the Real Technique uh, Expert Face Brush, which is like a dense kabuki in the number 200, and I just blend it out. And I feel like that gives me a more seamless application. I think the Chantikai Gel Foundation, the one that I usually use, I use my fingers for that. I feel like the finger application is the best for that. But let's see how it looks. Yeah, I think I like it. I didn't try anything now because it's almost like a perfect match for my skin. Also, I got this one. It's the Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury Flimstar Bronze and Glow. I got this during the sale. I, I was trying to find a bronzer that was not too orange for me and I think this was amazing and I also got the mini size because I wasn't willing to commit to a full size and I'm surprisingly enjoying this a lot. That's the bronze. I usually mix it up and use it or just use the bronzer. I really like it. It warms up my skin without going too crazy and uh, would I buy the full size? I don't know. I like the small size. This is the sh shade light medium. This is like the perfect shade for me. So again, Real Technique brush in the number 400. And just take a little. And what I also do is, I will mix it and just go on top like this. also looks nice 
probably just to give your skin a little bit of a sun kiss look without looking too fake. I mean, not too made up. Right? Let me see how that looks because I can't tell. Yeah, I think I like it. My eye makeup is so pretty. Warmed up my skin a little bit. And now I am going in with my favorite blush, the Revi Beauty in the shade Malaya. Now I'm using the Real Technique Brush 405 since I figured that the other one was a limited edition. So I started using this one so you can find this. It's like part of the current collection. It's in the number 405. And just high points on my cheeks. I don't want to crazy with the blush there. So, the way I would correct an over application of a blush, misapplication, I guess, or over application, I just go back in with the, I just go back in with the foundation brush and clean up the mess. Like this bit here, I hate it, it's misplaced. Uh, I also sometimes wear this one, the Chanel Compact. I love this, especially this human. This one works like seamless and beautifully. Solid pencil, hot gossip. And some Chanel lipstick in Rouge Allure. 62 very pretty shade slightly hydrating I mean I do have the Chanel lip balm underneath but I feel like these kind of shades are the most flattering on me these kind of shades I feel like are the most flattering on me anyways this is the completed look what do we think natural I mean, natural is a very loosely used term, you know. This could be a very made up look for someone. And for someone like me, this is a very natural look. Let's go in with some facial mist. Love beauty. Nothing is more hydrating than a facial mist. I feel like the facial mist, it just adds back like hydration back to your skin. Or is it like moisture? Baby King of Princess. So, this is the complete look. My everyday makeup routine. And uh, over the course of the day, I usually reapply my SPF. I'm out all day. This is the sunscreen that I reapply with. It's very sure, seamless, so I love it. I mean, it is expensive, but I think it's worth it because. I need to reapply my SPF and this is the only one I can reapply without having like to look at the mirror. Yeah.
just bought this and that And what else have we got in Longchamp bag is so so I can show you guys my duty free purchase Dior let's see I honestly didn't mean to pick up these at Dior I just randomly walked in I think I have a video of it on my duty free shopping too I got the Dior canvas sandal I mean uh I like the nudes but I got the one with the navy because the base is dark too and when the base is dark I feel like it doesn't show when it gets super dirty because I love my Chanel flats but the interiors are completely nude and they uh, they would, they do tend to get a little dirty. So it's in the canvas leather uh, size I got is 36 uh, usually I'm a 36 so this one I went to true to size uh, I was debating with like the flat you know the sandal, this, these canvas sandals that are completely flat. I really like those too, but I do have a lot of flat pairs. I do enjoy wearing a lot of flat pairs. So I went with this one and I feel like I could wear it all the time. It's a nice summer edition, uh, the Dior Away sandal, but it's the heeled version of it. I like it. I think it's a really nice edition. Mm, I also like the flat one too, but I don't know if I'd buy both. In a different color I don't know so I went to was I think Hermes I think the Dior's was a good price there because it was like no tax so ended up being a better price for me but I wouldn't say the same for Hermes uh, I think I ended up paying a little more for the Hermes at Dubai but um, I wanted these and they were I couldn't find them my size in New York so they had it there and it wasn't like a crazy amount I think it was like $90 more than so I figured you know what let me just get it uh, you guys already know what it is because I tried it on in Dubai shopping it's the Hermes sandal I got in the shade black I also want one in tan but I wanted a black one I actually wanted the Oran in a flat but uh, they didn't have my size and when I wore the ones with the heels they were kind of cute and again the heel is similar to the Dior so nothing crazy Super comfy. I still got this in a size 36. I do, however, want to buy a flat one too in this one. I just don't know if I want to do a black or do the regular Hermes, like that tan shade that they have. So another beautiful summer edition. I think I would get be getting a lot of wear out of these. Since um, I do have cute pairs, but they're mostly flat. And sometimes, you know, I just want to wear heels, but nothing crazy, comfy heels, kind of like my Manolo May sales. I love them, uh, but they are slightly more pointy, so you know, you can only wear them for so long. I'm so sorry about this dress. My little cousin gave me this dress, but it seems to keep falling off and it's slightly short, so I wouldn't wear it outside. I would mostly wear it at home. It's an, I think it's a Zara dress. It's I think she gave this to me last year but I wore this because I feel like it has a really nice spring vibe to it so yeah that's that's the shoes I forgot what the style is on this one I think it's called I know it's not called the Oran I think it's called the 
things I don't remember right now. Late night last night and I usually go to bed super early because I wake up really early. Uh, I went to see my aunt and uncle and I uh, just got stuck really late in the morning the city last night. So I had Louis Vuitton, picked up something for my sister there and then I also stopped by Cartier because uh, uh, I have read somewhere that Cartier is cheaper in Dubai because of the tax. I mean, I wouldn't say it's so much cheaper, but you know, New York taxes are quite high. It's like 8.875%. You know, it adds up when you buy slightly higher price items. So I decided to just browse Cartier. I had no intention of buying anything. I picked this up for myself. I, have, I bought these for my sister too in the past. I always get a jewelry for a birthday because I think jewelry is so special. Something you can always hand on and have for a long time. So I bought my sister this and I decided to pick one up for myself. It is, I'm sure you guys know what it is. In the box, it's obviously a ring. Was it just include uh, in the skinnier size because I wanted the medium actually, but I think it looked really weird on my hands. And the sales associate also said that the skinnier one looked better on me. So, this is what it looks like it's beautiful, it's an everyday piece, and I think you can layer it too. I obviously love the one with the diamond tip and all over diamond, but a lot more expensive so maybe in the future but this is a nice everyday addition to my jewelry pieces that I always wear what I like about Cartier rings are they are so light and I'm always wearing them this one cutie got me a really long time ago I've had it for like quite a few years now and I always wear it I never take it off it's the love ring a nice staple to have in your jewelry collection so those are the items that I picked up at duty free uh, in Dubai. We went to Soho just to... What did we go to Soho for? I think we went to get some brunch there. And, uh, we stopped by Amelion. We picked up a few items and I also realized that the last time I went shopping there, I had picked up some stuff and I thought maybe I'll just share both the items together since um, I haven't worn the other piece either. I got the Athy Leisure. Leisure like a jogging set in this shade of green but it's always that the shade of green is off uh, I, I've been uh, starting to like the color green not like the Bottega green but you know like a leafy green like an emerald green uh, like a sweatshirt or a jogging set I had also liked one from New Arrivals but I wasn't sure how it would fit they're 100% cotton I think they're so nice because I can wear them by itself. I also like that the sides have this kind of ribbing edge. So it looks a little more tapered, although it's a sweatshirt, but it's still a relaxed fit. And I love this green on like this canary yellow. I think he's a queen based designer, which is nice because you know we used to live in Queens too, so it's nice to represent. I got the matching bottoms too. Looks like so. Again, has like this army. Leon Dory and like this canary yellow monogram at the sides, uh, pockets in the front, pockets at back, bottoms are elastic band like that. And I also wanted to pick up the same baseball hat that they had uh, in green, but obviously I wasn't gonna wear it all together, but uh, they were sold out of it. Two other baseball hats from them. Their hats are really comfortable, priced really well. I think they're like $55 or $60. This is navy, simple with the company logo. Um, I believe it's made in the USA. And it's adjustable. Cutie and I can both share this one. Another one in the white. I know I have the Balenciaga in white. Baseball hat, which is still new. I haven't worn it. But I got this one because I like the shade of green again. Same as like the also on the inside and made in USA like one size fits all so I don't think they really have a size they have a couple of different hats but I like these style the most because it's not very like flat my Balenciagas are a little flat I think that's the look of those hats so I wanted something not so flat and this is good I will link it in the description box below so 
everything will have a price i'll try to link even the shoes and the jewelry in the description box that's the haul i hope you guys enjoyed it obviously i don't shop like this all the time i had a lot of birthday funds that i received on my birthday so i used them at duty free i figured i would get the best bag for my buck because i wouldn't be paying taxes uh yeah i am happy to be back home um, and thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video